Hello, 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 my gorgeous friends, my most special YouTube family. Welcome, welcome back, everyone. I hope you are well, and I really hope you are excited for this video. I've checked the past six months, I've done three mixed media canvases and they weren't really that mixed media not the Marta style not the old Marta and I know how much you miss it you know what I'm here to create mixed media canvas and a very heavy mixed media style using all sorts of mediums to create beautiful texture to use steampunk style chipboards and elements and yes let's let's do it because I know how much you have been waiting for I'm quite surprised it's been six months of uh, making all only three mixed media canvases projects which weren't really that heavy mixed media and actually it's been a very long time long enough that I don't feel comfortable today I feel out of my comfort zone completely totally and all but at the same time I know that most of you uh, know my mixed media projects, my canvases and all and I know how much you are waiting for it so I cannot just not accommodate you plus do you know what after so many of collages art journaling and all I think I am slowly missing it a little bit tiny tiny bit so I think we can just do it together I have plenty of chipboards here as you can tell as you can see all, all sorts all all all, all sorts sorts of all sorts from different types of materials like a uh, different chipboards different like a uh, heavy uh, um, veneer I think it's called or something anyway it doesn't matter I'm quite excited I have to say stressed a little bit scared that I'm gonna fail but that's okay <laughs> Marta just go for it so that's what I'm doing jumping in but I am doing a small small version so I can just uh, have a little bit of a um, um, easier challenge let's call it but because it's gonna be challenging no doubt there question is guys are we doing reverse canvas or regular I think I'm gonna do regular canvas so I can have loads of happenings here I'm thinking about like a one heavy part and then less heavy I have also my goal gorgeousness steampunkish feel collage pack which is a beautiful scrapyard that I've done together with Anya and I hope you have seen it if not you have to check it out it's a lovely mixture of mixture of different elements different beautiful beautiful things that you can use for collage projects for mixed media and all and it's coming in a small or a big pack so whichever you prefer uh, of course links to all these as well because there's tons of gorgeousness all of these links are gonna be below the video saying I'm out of my comfort zone it's a total truth because I, I love steampunk but it's not something I would be drawn and I think I know why I think it's because when you when you kind of stop doing certain things you stop feeling comfortable with it and I think I used to do so many projects heavy projects mixed media projects including lots of steampunkish kind of feel um, yeah I think it was just basically I had so much I've done so much that it just felt enough is enough I think that's how it felt so I think I I'm glad that I took this long break I have plenty of supplies to use plenty to show you and I hope that with the new energy I'm able to maybe discover different feel for the project. I have this gorgeousness. I've never used it. Uh, the new stencils are out for months and months now. I've never used this one, but it's very steampunkish, I think, mm, numbers in general. So I think we're going to jump in and use that. But I think before we'll do it, I think I'm going to just use um, gesso, transparent, no, not transparent, white gesso to cover up the surface so we can actually have... <laughs> I'm not prepared for that video. Would you believe it? I did not clean my brushes, but that's okay I'm kind of rushing in a way because I really wish to start this project because Hannah is still in the preschool in her summer camp I really wish to start this project so it can dry when she comes home and I can finish it maybe in the evening I think that sounds like a good plan. So I'm gonna jump in with the white gesso so I can actually prime my project. This is what I'm doing. I'm priming my canvas. I'm not too sure what mediums I'm going to use. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. I have a plan of 
heavy mixed media, tons of tons of layers, lots of embellishments, especially the actual chipboards. Plenty of beautiful chipboards uh, in steampunk style. I know a few of you will really truly love the idea, and I know that you have. How many of you miss? miss my old videos because obviously I'm making videos how long is it f eight years obviously my style have changed I've changed you have changed we all have we grew up and things do change improve or certain things we don't do anymore or things like that so I think it's totally natural I really think it's a totally natural process but I'd say for some maybe some of you are still uh, not transitioning to different styles of arting and that's perfectly fine and maybe some of you is like no Marta I don't enjoy art journaling I am mixed media in heart like a heavy mix I call it like art journaling can be also mixed media because it's all about using different mediums but for me the mixed media it's like this heavy um, mixed media kind of work on canvases altered projects and stuff but obviously mixed media it's all about mixing different mediums it could be even flat on the paper but how many of you is missing this mixed media Marta that have been in your life years and years ago with all these canvases and all? I just wonder, do you miss it? Like, I'm gonna dry this quickly and be right back to you. Okay, I'm back to you. And you know what? Mixed media is one thing, steampunk is another thing, but doing it your own way, it's a whole different world different level. How about a little bit of feminine-ish or something that it's not necessarily steampunk like this gorgeousness flower. Adding this to the background and see whether it's going to be visible or not. We shall see. I have no idea. But I was drawing this canvas and I was like thinking about the whole idea that why have I moved from mixed media I'm gonna be chatting and you know and gluing down I was thinking why why have I moved from a very heavy mixed media artworks to art journaling I know why it's the whole drying part the you know the drying part but also it's the whole thing that it takes a lot of space like when I make journal pages collages it's all flat uh, not only that the products used for the project takes a lot less space it's easier to store it than 3d objects but also the final product project product project it's in the book which is so amazing because it is you know all kind of together which with the mixed media project it's more of a 3d ish it's there um, you have to display it. not do you have to but you display in it and I sold or auctioned a, a lot or most of my 3d projects not I still have some which I will sell out soon but I was just thinking that yeah maybe this is sorry for this ASMR noises but I just wish to chit chat about it because I think it maybe it's important for some and um, and I have you know felt and I was thinking that yes because I love art journaling I love actually creating all sorts of uh, collaging and stuff and I was thinking Marta why don't you do both and this is where I was thinking yeah I love the background from art journaling transferring to 3d 3d canvas so let's try that why not and this page this paper it's a new tissue paper in my online store we ship worldwide if you wish to check it out they coming the sets are coming in different in two sizes so this is a four big size the big paper pad not pad set and there is a smaller a4 a5 size as well so whichever suits you best guys whichever suits you best i love both sizes for different reasons like if i do small tags like this one let me quickly show it to you i always say let me show it to you and then i cannot i can't find it but I will find it at some point, I guess. You know, like if I do small backgrounds here, like on these, you can use a maybe, or here there is a tissue as well on this one. And let me look. Oh, I have the perfect example. So this is the small paper, and this one is the same actual, the same actually uh, image. Oops, that that's okay. 
Um, yeah, they, of course they are very delicate, so be careful, Marta. Um, so yes, um, what I was saying. Oh yeah, the small and the, depending what you like, depending what you are wishing to do size-wise, you can see the difference in between them. I think that's a different size. Yes, it is. It is, Marta. It is. <laughs> it is. So this is on a little tag, you know, and this one is uh, bigger. So yeah. I like both sizes for different purposes. Okay, so I'm adding as well transparent gesso on top. Obviously, I'm trying to prime it as well. I will be now adding on top of that. I think the actual uh, the actual stencil, but I'm gonna dry this. So yeah, I'm gonna dry this first, and I'll be back. Back to you. My canvas is dry, and I have box underneath it, so it will be easier for me to have my surface not dripping down kind of thing. Now, I'm changing my mind towards the actual stencil. I think this will be too busy if, without the flower, I would easily jump in for this one as my gorgeousness background. But I think I need something more subtle. And I think this is like kind of subtle plus. I am thinking about maybe this piece which is also like a diamond shape. So let's, do you know what? It's it's not that we, you, you can always be convinced or sure of what to, like, let's just try it out. Let's just see. And we will then know, I guess. Uh, I wish to keep my flower very much visible. I mean, very much visible. So I'm gonna try to, now it's moving. Maybe I'm gonna change that to nothing for now. I thought it's gonna be easier but maybe it's not so I'm covering up with the actual stencil so this part is under the stencil so you can't really see it this well and I'm not gonna take it too much so let's uh, so it's covered by the stencil so it's not gonna be covered by the actual uh, modeling paste so it should be good okay I don't mind a little bit of a, a little bit of leaves to be covered that's fine now I don't know how long we're gonna be um, be here at this moment because Lucas should be here in a minute with Hannah but I use my time as much as I can and glue it down as much as I can. Now I'm gonna try to be here as well which is super nice so there we go I'm gonna try to be here with my stencil. I'm using this one particular it's texture paste from Ranger. I like this one. The smell it's not the greatest I have to say. You can get used to it. Um I don't mind it at all but if you if you're not a smeller smeller what's that even word? <laughs> if you if you have problems with smells this could be too hard too much for you. I love that and I'm gonna try to although probably most of this here will be covered anyway um, I'm gonna still try to add it just so even adding the embellishments on the wet surface will just hold it better you will see I look I don't mind even because I may change my mind I don't know so I'm gonna have the a little bit of that uh, texture paste here as well and even here because it didn't go so there we go and here there we go okay let me clean this wash it off and I'll be right back my canvas texture is still wet and that's perfectly fine because you can actually use it as your acid and use it as a glue so whenever you be adding some elements it will with the glue in here it will sink into the wet canvas which is the wet texture on the canvas which is perfectly fine now question is what are we doing Marta what's the next step what's the plan since you have steampunk around you and a flower that could be a disaster but that's okay we have to try it out I really feel we have to try things out now oh I think someone is here someone is here so I may be f finishing sooner than I wanted it but that's okay too how about a bit of this here no no, probably not. Not necessarily, Marta. Maybe I'm gonna just jump in with some of these smaller steampunk, actually steampunk, um, these things, maybe, and build up slowly at the composition. So something like, I'm gonna do it here, just to see technically what this could be. So we could have it something like that. And we could have, no, this goes there, let's say this goes there. Something along these lines, and maybe even one like this. Maybe, baby. We will be painting this over everything we will be painting over. Something like that, you know? I'm just thinking that maybe I can have... 
a little bit of a clay just for now uh, because this is all wet so I'm not trying to touch it as yet so we can have a little bit of a a little bit of a look like this and I really would love to play with these and these could go on top of each other oh I love that do you know what I think I'm gonna just jump in with the gun jump with the gun is it the thing but I also wanted to use one of these hmm this is so exciting actually I really wanted to use one of these this is too much I really wanted to use some of these and how about this a little, yeah I love it I really love it guys oh, I know it's not very much a uh, steampunk but I really wish for this thing oh I love this and that you know what even uh, the the smaller one could be like here or something two of them like this little extra bit I love the mix of feminine and like I don't see this either someone is jumping for flowery feminine look or very steampunkish how about breaking that cycle that's that that regular whatever everyone have in mind how about doing it our way guys <laughs> I, I love that I really 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 love that <laughs> I think it looks amazing how I'm gonna stick it down now. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna open this one up as well. All these chipboards are from Aga from my friend. Link is below the video. It's the 14 craft bar. Please check it out. You have to. I will be just looking at yeah 14 craft bar so check her out. I love these. All of them I purchased there or she sent me some. Oh I, oh, I can hear them. I can hear them talking and I think the hurricane may just call in here. We shall hear her or not. Oh, I love that. I think it's amazing. Oh no, she's gone to the garden because maybe she doesn't hear me as yet that I'm here recording, but that's not going to be for too long. Probably when she realizes, hmm, hmm. Okay, I may say nothing now and we shall see if she when she comes here. <laughs> Emily's gone to meet her friend and train the oh train the for the for the uh, komogi and Hannah is back from her pre preschoolish kind of um summer camp that she had has I just absolutely adore this. This is so crazy pretty. I don't know what it means. It means probably nothing. <laughs> I don't, I regret that I didn't glue it down. I'm going to I'm just going to grab this. Move this for now aside. Grab some gel medium and start gluing these all down. Oh. I think I hear I think I hear someone. <laughs> I think I heard mommy. Yeah. Okay. This is good. I love it now and I'm gonna grab this one as well and just have now I think she forgot she has mommy she's calling for something else but I don't know for what she wants to get change I think <laughs> that's the first time she came back home without asking about me <laughs> I'm gonna cry I'm gonna cry I'm gonna cry uh, I, I have to say that getting up for her 8 in the morning it's quite challenging because she's not used to it at all I think it's a great start for her and great idea for before this big school starts I mean the proper preschool although she's gonna have the afternoon session we decided that she will have 12 till 3 because we can see that it's hard for her it's it's hard on her actually to be uh, to be on the mornings so before big school starts when she's five and they she will have to go in the morning we we decided that I wait I wait in the bedroom for you <laughs> she's very tired oh no way Hannah hi hi I think she's very tired she's not even coming here now before you ask this is from mold and this mold is from cake like when people are making cakes you know uh, like decorating beautiful 
cakes. This is from cakes. So and I bought it on some eBayish kind of them sort of websites. I have no links to it because. Yeah, actually giving links to to Chinese website, it's a little bit off or a lot off. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to say anything. I purchased it before and then I was regretting it, but I have it, so I'm gonna use it uh, because they do they do they do sell out stolen stolen designs, including mine, my stencil stamps. I saw, so it's a little bit. It's not a little bit. It's a lot of. Um, yeah, it's just wrong, basically. So kind of supporting them by giving you the link. I'm thinking, Marta, you really like? Do you really want to? Do you really want to direct people to to website that it's just just wrong in many places, in many ways? On the other hand, they do have beautiful things, affordable, and you can purchase like cake molds like these. But they do. I purchased the knockoffs of Prima, which I didn't know that Prima already has produce these designs. I was the, the sure I'm getting the proper legitimate uh, molds, designs, beautiful flower designs because I, I don't follow everything. I don't expect you to follow everything either. So yeah, so it was just, you know, it was very much disappointing. So yeah, I think I'm going to check on Hannah and Lucas and I'll be right back to you. This is drying. <laughs> She's calling. I'll be right back. She's not calling me though, sadly. Anyway, I'll be right back back to you. Here is Hannah, first art project from her, from her school, from her summer camp. <laughs> this is so cute. She's only three and a bit. How old is she? She's from February and it's June, so she's three and four months. She loves art, she, as you could hear it her million times. Uh, it's so cute, so cute. We have to frame that. But I wanted to say that they went upstairs. She is asking to go for a nap. She seems to be very tired and sleepy. And my beautiful husband have brought me some uh, iced cold coffee. Oh, he bought that, so he's so cute. He knows I love coffee and now it's like beautiful summer so it's lovely to have this sort of coffee. But anyway, I can keep on recording to you guys and we can finish this canvas on a good timing manner. Look at this. I think it's absolutely amazing idea, uh, mixture. I don't think I've seen... Uh, I, I, I could be wrong, but I don't think I've seen anyone using uh, steampunk and kind of feminine feel. Uh, like this so I think it's gonna be very interesting overall for you for me for us all to just know it whether it's a great uh, combination or not I wanted to say that when I purchased this actual uh, mold I also have been having this idea to not use like it the mold is m much more beautiful I'll show you this is it. The mold is like a beautiful proper <laughs> and I have purposely only filled in part of it because I I didn't want this. Although imagine this could be super cute as a total background as it is which I'm gonna try as well. Total background as it is and in the middle imagine like a focal point like a big heart or something and just a texture like it could be quite amazing so if you're wondering this is for cake decorating you know when people make cakes and around it it's such a gorgeous design it's from molds <laughs> nobody's doing this by hand it's all from molds so you may want to check this out now let's think so Hannah was asking for going for a nap so Lucas took her upstairs to have a read of a book oh that actually looks great have a read of a book and uh, and he said that we'll see if she falls asleep or not but if she asks about it obviously she must be very much tired so let's just allow this <laughs> for a quick maybe nap maybe to recharge batteries a little bit obviously when the child goes to sleep this um, means that she will go later on quite late but that's okay look we just have to follow the the request the request is a bad word you know a need of Fana, I guess isn't it so I'm trying to add these little supporters now if you think about it when I will be gluing this down exactly awesome I need a little bit of a support there so it's not gonna be falling down so a tiny tiny support there like the, here it is there we go and as well is it a postman at this hour 
I have window open so something I've heard now there we're gonna need postman or or the actual uh, courier oh there we go oh we need a support there as well because it is not okay maybe that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have this one there yeah definitely it will be great I worry this is so delicate now there we go so we have it there there we go and everything unless I will do a tiny this no because I just worry that this is not gonna be <laughs> this is not gonna last this bit but I try I'll try it's glue there it's glue there okay let's see now <laughs> I love that I love this okay we could have one more it's actually pipes and <laughs> pipes and and these things it's like in the garden right it's actually matching if you think about it oh my I love that I oh I love this we can just somehow join in join this or something oh this is so cute like this is so cute I love it I'm gonna leave it like that I hope it's okay if it doesn't make too much sense I'm not a builder but <laughs> oh I love this so much um what else what else we have this <laughs> this is so cute this is so cute how about this one here or something that could be nice too or maybe like here to kind of being in the theme no no wait no so they're gonna read a story and we shall see what happens so Hannah asked daddy for going to upstairs that's why she was calling I wait for you in the bedroom <laughs> She also went uh, for a little sh stroll shopping quickly with him, uh, so that's why that's even probably more tiring for her going to the shop. <laughs> she doesn't really like that, but Lucas knew that I'm recording, so he said he'll use that chance to, you know, take her and have me extra time now. <laughs> this is so cute, like. <clears throat> hmm. How about this one here? Oh, I love that! I absolutely love this now. Mm hmm. Or here? Oh, here! It's awesome. Okay, I know. A little support there. So, even more of a glue. There we go. And this is nearly like a puzzle, puzzle, uh, puzzle building. <laughs> I love that. I really love that. Maybe like this, yeah. Wow. This is so beautiful. So much fun as well. Now there's more of these. Oh, this is one. This one is great. I love it. Maybe I can open it up and see if I have this one working somewhere. I wonder if I do have to like kind of more uh, blend in these kind of flowers this thing here but I don't want to oh oh I love it there I think I, I don't want to blend in it too much oh I like that super wow I just want to check if any of these, especially this small one lamp, will like go... Oh yes, I think so. Or even like here. <clears throat> so good, so good. No, the small one will be fine. How about... Oh! Oh, I love it! Wow. 
this feels so very strange, you know, building this, like, like most of my as well uh, recent arts, if you think about my canvases as well, they were in 90, in, in 70% maybe uh, from recycling, you know, like a lot of them would be budget, budget, budget. So I nearly forgot how it is to use beautiful supplies, although I keep on saying to you, use white, uh, use your beautiful art supplies, you know. So I stand for that, uh, as well as use the most uh, strange, crazy household items or stuff. I don't know if it's too much, guys, you tell me. Oh, I know you can. Oh, I knew it that there was some other piece, that's the main piece. <laughs> I can use it to another... Uh, another one. Oh, this could be cute if this is not too delicate, but it is, so I leave it. I think I might have something else there just, oh, like this, just to kind of um, connect this, I guess. That's the best way to put it in, a, in words. I'm gonna check phone because Emily is in town and she should have texted me. She didn't. I'm gonna just check on her if she's good. Uh, because she, yeah, I always ask her if she's going to town or something to text me just to say that she arrived, she met her friend and stuff like that, so I won't be panicking as I always do, so. She didn't text me because obviously she was too excited seeing her friend, which is only natural, but I'd rather hear from her that I'm fine, I arrived, I'm, you know, I, I am there, I'm here, oh. Maybe even like this kind of connect connection, so mm, the flower is a beautiful background. Oh my, this is absolutely stunning. <laughs> wow, I mean this is wow, I love it so much. <clears throat> oh, this is cute as well, being there actually, I may just add that. Like these chipboards are super delicate so I'm going to be trying to priming them later as well and we shall see if they will hold but they will. I just will come back to the project in the evening when everything is really 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 dry like I think. I'm gonna just I knew it it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh well. Goodbye a little piece. <laughs> That's fine. Is it? I'm just checking if I can add even more and more. I love it. Wow. This is so much fun. I've missed heavy mixed media for sure. Now. Wow. Here. I think I feel it's a little bit too empty. Like it's busy busy and super empty. My, maybe this is kind of helping out to fill in this tiny blank. I think so. I really, I think I really will add it there. <clears throat> to fill in the blanks, you know, to fill in. Sometimes, you know, I really wanted the flower to be visible. Still will be tiny bit, but not the same, obviously. Probably here would be great if I can have the tiny support there. There we go. The support will be great because yeah exactly so it can stand out even more okay and more glue there there we go wow I love it okay oh, uh, I'm gonna leave this to dry and hopefully come back to you in the evening I may prime it as an add white gesso to it or not. I'll shall see. Uh, but I'll leave it to dry. Tidy up the desk, baby. Start something else. I don't know. But I'll be back to you. Hello, hello, hello. The next day I have my canvas dry and ready to paint, I think, in white gesso. That's what I'm gonna do. I will be adding some waxes as well. So I think it would be great to do it a little bit of whitening here on the actual element so we can then add some waxes and maybe a little bit of sprays as well. We shall see. Maybe a little paint, maybe some 
acrylics as well that would be interesting I think it would be interesting to see how we actually gonna go about that so I'm gonna off camera quickly paint it over everywhere here on those elements and I'll be right back Everything is dry now, time to do a little bit of coloring and I was thinking to do a tiny touch of sprays and also some waxes. Now, I have no clue what color to actually add it up and I was just searching for something that would be, oops, in these actual colors like this flower. This will definitely fall at some point, which I'm going to re-glue it. That's okay. Now I will check it out if any of these colors are anywhere near this flower mm -hmm. that's definitely not that's closer I'm not too sure what oh I love that very much actually I'm not too sure what exactly color I'm looking for but something yeah something something maybe these two I don't know <laughs> maybe a little bit of that as well no I'm gonna grab baby wipe because baby wipe will be a great help to actually prevent and hide these here mm, my flowers, my tissues and all so it's not gonna be visible and yeah and we can wash it off if something is gonna be up right, there we go now I think I'm gonna just gently jump in with the creamy kind of color first <laughs> if it's gonna work out it's not working come on come on come on come on come on come on okay it doesn't want to go that's okay I'm gonna try this one a little bit if yeah my sprays are a couple of years old so of course they do have the nozzles dirty and things don't want to go that's okay no worries I can open it up and try to move this oh I love that I love that but I certainly have to have some color there as well let's dry this a tiny bit and let's see what happens let's see I love that okay uh, we definitely need a touch of some color this doesn't want to move but maybe we can like have a little bit of a play maybe with the direct direct kind of color going in there we shall see <clears throat> in some places anyway now yeah it's a very much end of the spray no wonder it doesn't want to spray maybe that's the reason because it is the end actually where's the nozzle so I can maybe oh it's there maybe like this yeah there we go there let's try again where's the nose where's the pipe pipe is there so like that that is interesting oh wow I love this now let's try that <coughs> mm -hmm. Maybe some actually brush. Yeah, how about that? Mm -hmm. Love 
off me. <clears throat> And I think with the grey what we could do is we could try to have a oops, touch of grey as well going underneath it maybe. Something like there. In the grooves. This one is definitely bright. Not as dark, which is good. I think it's good because you can actually really focus on building up the color without worrying that oh what's gonna happen if it's too dark I'm gonna re remove it redo it so you can have you can concentrate on that <clears throat> I think I'm gonna add up more on the flowers actually and keep the the cogs maybe more bright there we go, something like that. Very good. Maybe here as well, in between. Okay, let's dry this for now. <coughs> Back to you. Everything is pretty much dry, so we've used some beautiful sprays, and now it's time to do a little bit of waxing, I think. I think that maybe Yes, this could actually be a lovely mix between <laughs> grey and kind of goldy, but also I'm thinking that it's going to match up my actual flower in the background. It's not the same color, I have to say. Let's see if I can do a little bit of a... Oh, I like that! Mixture, yes, look at this. That's what I was thinking, that this is me may happen that we may have both mix of both I'm gonna do this one I don't know and it may actually turn into this color so yes let's see mm -hmm. so I'm using my finger but feel free to use whatever feels right if you prefer brush over or something, do that. Now I'm using beautiful waxes from Little Birdie. If you wish to check them out, please do. Now I'm kind of going on the actual edges. Look at it. Oh, sorry, I'm off camera. Am I off camera too much? I love it. I love, love, love it. I'm kind of going over. It's an interesting mixture because it is between actually gold and green and silver. Hmm. And let's see if we mix this one now. This is going to be interesting color, actually. Those two colors together. They actually do make some sort of some sort of greenery color but also matching this I think it would be great to maybe have some yellow on top somewhere now oh wow very different I have to say it <laughs> It feels so very strange to to actually use my fingers, work this way with the mixed media products because I haven't done it for ages. Now don't worry, we're not done yet. It's it's gonna take a time to actually redo it all. We're gonna go over touches of white as well over to make it all lovely jovely. I love that actually. Wow. Now, how about this color? It's that's a, like a silvery color as well. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna go over a million times now. But let me check maybe this green. Is it very green? Oh, I like that. Let's see. Oh, I love this. It's a mixture between those two, I guess. Oh, wow. 
between the three of them actually. <laughs> How different is that now? Wow. Oops. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna go inside of these yet. Oh well. I think I'm gonna try to see if I can clean this off a little bit to have this more to have this more standing out I think. Let's see if the baby wipe will help me out actually to have this all kind of blend in better. I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> honestly. It's a little bit of a a little bit of a trial, you know. Oops. Just to see. This is maybe too much. I love that. Very beautiful. <gasps> I really love it. Now what about this color? Oh, that's like a bluey kind of... Oh, I love that as well. <laughs> I'm gonna put all of the colors on them. Oh, that's nice. That's very interesting actually color. Like, uh, what's the name of it actually? Pewter? 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 I don't know. <laughs> the name, the color. It's like something in between. It's like kind of... Um, I'd say, what's the word, like, uh, not sky, sea, sea kind of, watery feel, gorgeous color. Now I still feel we're gonna outline it somehow, I just have to come up with how, <laughs> more of how. I think I'm gonna have a tiny touch and tiny play of the green even more just to bring this a little bit darker I think oh wow that is very nice very interesting very different as well can hear birds outside <laughs> in the garden actually it's a lovely day yet again here in Ireland <clears throat> beautiful lovely day and the next whole week it's not gonna be that beautiful <laughs> the weather it's gonna change dramatically so we have to use it as much as we can now to enjoy it this is so pretty and I was thinking as well to add Somewhere there. I think it would be probably better if I'll have this cardboard off. And not this in particular, but something like that. We shall see. I just love that. I think it's so pretty. I cannot make up my mind about the coloring though. I, I just love it all that I do. Every time I add some color, I just like it even more. <laughs> As I don't know which is, which is my most favorite. Now that I'm thinking, it would be so amazing to add. Where is it? Ah, ja, 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 ja. Let me just find that. Oh, I have it. I think I have this. Oh, yeah. I think this would be so much pretty here. When it's finished. Not yet, but when we finish. <gasps> oh, yes. Imagine that. Oh, wow. It's gonna be beautiful. So, let's just put this back for now. Just for now. I'm gonna heat it up my hot glue gun. I will definitely add it up now. I wonder how about a tiny touch of white gesso? My question is, will the white gesso be like this great help or not really? I, you know, I just wonder what kind of move now would make it even kind of nicer. But I feel if I start adding white gesso, it will be all kind of back again to where it was. So what's the point? But I don't know, maybe highlighting of or some sort some sort you know what I mean just something like touches of touches of white in places so that is I don't know 
or is it not necessarily? Um, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. First time, I don't know. It's not my first time, I don't know. Of course it's not, but yes. My other thing is that, wouldn't that be great to actually maybe... I need to dry this, but actually maybe add a little bit of inking. Of like dark kish kind of inking. I may do that. Let me dry this and I'll be back. I have one idea. I have this Posca and I'm thinking to do a tiny touch of that white happening there. I don't know why. I just feel it would help to make it nicer. I like standing out a little bit more the white in some places. So I guess in order to have certain things standing out even more I just feel that maybe I should, like the background it's great but maybe this should stand out more so let's just do a little bit of white. I don't know, it just, you know, sometimes when I do things I just feel for it or not. Like same for here, I just think it would be so amazing if this could be a little bit more bright, this this kind of metal part. For example, if you know what I mean, so I'm just trying to, within the reason obviously, add some bit of a white because I feel it 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 will just be better or not we shall see I still think about maybe inking the edges I think what's my problem is that I'm not used to this very much bright mixed media pieces uh, you know it's like I'm so much more used to that when you have steampunk of all sorts you have all these dark more like a rusty colors and stuff and this is a little bit <laughs> different I guess and maybe it's hard for my eyes but it's hard to when you make projects sometimes it's hard to have the actual mm, opinion about it sometimes it's just easier to just not overthinking because I'm you may feel it differently to people watching it it's like a different perspective it looks different in the camera than in the real life it is like I don't know if you if you know what I'm trying to say. I like it now because there is something happening. There is a color, there is a vibe. I'm not going to be touching any of these, but I do like the white added here. Um, I don't know why. What's the difference? Oops! I don't know what's the difference, but it is. And I just love it now. There, I think I just felt it. Maybe it's... I have... <laughs> I just squished some pigment there of white. I just felt I guess that it was just too un uni united all of it together and by adding extra white uh, which is much more white than the other white than gesso it is giving this it's it makes this more stand out I hope you can see that uh, I hope we all will be able to see that in the end it's making it more standing out and it's the Posca pen definitely that does it it helps out the second layer makes it even better now because it's more white actually maybe I'll do it here as well Oops. if you, if you look properly I'm trying to just hold uh, the white in places and just where the where the actual pipes are meeting I don't paint it white so it's like a little bit I don't know Oh, I did paint there, but that's okay. Um, now, extra white there. I think every project needs a little bit of a work around, isn't it? It's like to perfect it, to make it the way as you like it, to make sure that you actually love it. It takes time, especially coloring part always takes so much time, which is great because it's your baby. <laughs> So take your time in coloring, you know, the baby white wipe went there. Now let's see if we can have anything here happening. And how about maybe here as well, the white, why not? Now, let's see. You know, sometimes, not sometimes, it's always good to redo the project if you feel like it will help to feel it better for it. I guess I work on contrast, so for me it is just not enough, it was just not enough of contrast, it was all blending too much together. It just felt wrong, basically. I'm gonna try to clean this off a little bit because Yeah. 
yeah just oops just that's how the Posca works it is very much pigmented so uh, so here here and maybe here but I leave the other one um I don't know what I was saying yeah but it when it feels that something is not up guys just don't give give it up keep on at it it was just felt that it was too unified as for me but you know what I just discovered a new technique in a way because I would never have thought of actually outlining not outlining like shading like bringing more of a standing out with the Posca pen but you know what with the detail work you know it works beautiful so it is now nice and delicate and subtle and all but it's also very much beautiful mixed media feel to to it so it's great I love that now oh wow I I think it's really growing on me I really think it is super um super awesome now with all these beautiful delicate waxes and and now the white that it's helping out because if I'll jump in like I've tried uh, a few minutes ago with the white gesso it was just not doing it although I know exactly what I need I need this bit of a more contrast happening and now this Posca is giving me exactly that so yay it's good to experiment guys I think it's a, a lot of a difference and it's making it so beautiful now and I love it I think it's uh, it went it's it coming up beautifully it really does now it really does now it really does look the more even to stand out the white across over that like this I'm not gonna touch this one so there is this in the background which is fantastic and there we go wow beautiful maybe even more there mm -hmm. super I love it so this I'm not gonna touch either so some of them are more standing out some of them are less and I think it's fantastic now looking yeah what a lesson for the coloring I love it so different as well which is great I think I may bring this one out a little bit, t t tiny bit. Um, wow! How about a tiny, like an outlining on the outside, just like this? Oh! I just wonder what you think now. It, in I don't know in the camera. In the real life, it looks absolutely gorgeousness now. I really love it. Um, I'm just trying to think would it make a difference if I'll have these colored. Let's see. Will it be better or not? We can quick. I like that actually. Do you know what? I don't like that. How about these? A little bit. How about these? A little bit. Oh, wow. And maybe here as well. Okay, I think it's great. I think it's great. I just need to have this a little bit better painted. Okay. Same here. Oops. Wow. And maybe just around this. That's it. That is very different. Wow, that is very different. I love that. I love that. I'm just looking at it. Now, how about white splashes? <laughs> I think it's a must. Isn't it? Where's my white ink? I think it's a must. I really think now. <laughs> it's a must. I think we are done now. Uh, we need a tiny uh, touch of... Um, tiny touch of... Of the... Um, some Not tiny touch. What I'm trying to say is we need some title. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. We need some title. Now, 
tiny, like, I mean, you barely can see those splashes, really, if you think about it. You barely can see the splashes. That's okay, too. Now let me grab some title. Mm, that was fast finding. Never give up. <laughs> how, uh, how perfect for this project. Never give up. Oh, maybe actually here. Never give up. Or there. Actually, there would be good. It's just... Not that well. It's, I think it's gonna hold it as it is, no? Let's try. Just like this. Whoops. Never give up. Oh. Now, we have also the Gorgeousness Jewels, which we should use because they are just asking to be used. Definitely. Oh yes, definitely. It is like, yeah. <laughs> These are not actually Tim's, Tim, Tim Holtz ones. I'll give you a link to Agus shop as well for the word stickers. Uh, these are different brand, can't remember now because I have no packaging, but I will certainly link you up everything I remember. The waxes are from a Little Birdie, the jewels are from Poland, I purchased them, I can't remember where. No, I do remember where, but I don't know the brand of them. Um, what else? Uh, the paper flower, it's a tissue paper from our online store, marimismallart.com. And what else? Uh, the. Ah, move it around. The Posca, I also will link it to you, but I'm sure you can find Posca. And the chipboards are to Agas as well, so yeah, I'll try to link it all up for you. I love it. You know what? All the finish, it's all about the finishing touches, right? I really think so. I love the delicate waxes. The colors are just so beautiful. Really, really pretty. Now let me just see the very last one probably maybe this one going here or maybe actually no maybe actually this one going here and the bigger one going there because it's on the bottom hi princess how are you good how are you i'm good are you going somewhere are you yeah. are you going to collect her really yeah. awesome are you going on your own well that's what i want Okay, give me one second. <laughs> I'd like to ask you. Uh, yeah, you should run if you want to go now. Uh, yeah, I'll be back, guys. Okay, I'm back. Emily is gone for her sister, and we have a few minutes to, to look at the project again. I have to say, this was quite a challenge. This was quite a struggle to get the colors right that they will actually coordinate with the flower because I really wanted this to be part of it. You know what? It's so funny when you come back to the project even five minutes later as I did and the desk is clean and you don't have everything around and I think it's absolutely stunning. I have to say while you're doing it it not always feels right. Something may be missing. I don't know but I'm looking at it now thinking oh I forgot about this side. I'm looking about it thinking it's gorgeousness. It's beautiful. It's like nearly this winter feel to it. It's different. It's strange. It's beautiful. It's classy. It's elegant. It's gorgeous colors. I love it. I wonder what you think. Have you been doubting me <laughs> halfway down? Because I have to say it was a little bit of a challenge, but I, I think... I think it in the end it came out pretty well. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna finish here. It's definitely my, not my last attempt at mixed media. I'll be back to it more often. I do promise you this big time. I've missed it and it was quite a fun uh, challenge. But I do have to say that I actually love the idea of mix mixture between steampunk and the flowers. And uh, just a different feel to, to the whole project all together like a, let's mix a little bit of a collage art journaling with the mixture of heavy mixed media I like it I really really had good time so I hope you liked it and enjoyed it as well thank you so much my friends for watching for always be here it's a pleasure to uh, to be in your home so thank you for having me 
I really hope you liked it, enjoyed it. But I'm gonna wrap up with that. Wishing you a lovely day whenever you are. Mind yourself and your loved ones. Stay ha happy, safe, be kind to one to another, and I'll chat to you. Super person. I love you, but I have to go. Bye!